Hello everyone, in this lecture we would be seeing about perfect competition as to what does perfect competition mean and we would be discussing the various uh, topics in it. The first thing that we would be discussing is about the meaning of perfect competition, then the features of perfect competition. After that we would be covering the short term equilibrium of a firm as well as short term equilibrium of an industry. Then we would be talking about long run equilibrium of firm and long run equilibrium of industry. And lastly, we would be seeing about the price determination under perfect competition. So when we talk about perfect competition, what we uh, find is that uh, the general sense or the general uh, definition that is prevalent of perfect competition is uh, not as uh, not according or not what economics actually means in economics perfect competition in general sense first and foremost we will be seeing as to what is economics me uh, of what does perfect competition mean in general sense in general sense people refer to having competition and rivalry as perfect competition but in economics lack of competition lack of rivalry is referred to as perfect competition so essentially perfect competition in economic sense means uh, that there is uh, no competition among the firms and uh, that there is absence of competition amongst the firms. The features of perfect competition include features. The first feature of perfect competition is that there are a large number of buyers and sellers uh, there must be large number of firms in an industry each individual firm supplies only that part of total output a total quantity in the market uh, which it can produce as a result uh, no individual firm is able to control the prices in a particular uh, entire market similarly there are also many buyers so uh, uh, due to uh, due to presence of large number of sellers large number of sellers no individual seller is able to regulate and control the prices of the product. Product ke prices koi ek single uh, entity vaha pe control nahi kar sakti hai ya pher influence nahi kar sakti hai. Similarly, on the other hand, when we uh, see the buyer's side, there are also numerous number of buyers are there. That is, large number of buyers are also present. Large number of buyers also lead to the fact that individual buyers, no individual buyer, can influence the price of 
द प्रोडक्ट इन द मार्केट द प्राइस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इज डिटर्माइंड बाई कलेक्टिव फोर्सेज ऑफ डिमांड एंड सप्लाई प्राइज डिटर्मिनेशन इज डन बाय द फोर्सेज बाय द फोर्सेज ऑफ डिमांड एंड supply further a firm is considered to be a price taker as he is not able to control the prices uh, here we refer the firm uh, to the firm as a price taker firm is a price taker <clears throat> each firm has to adjust its output or sale according to the prevailing uh, prevailing market prices the second uh, factor or second feature which is uh, of profit competition is homogeneity of products products are homogeneous in nature that is uh, in a perfectly competition uh, competitive uh, market or perfectly competitive industry for products of any firm would be identical so it means that a uh, same type of product here yeah, uh, uh, very uh, exact replicas of the product are being created in uh, such an industry or such a in such a market technical characteristics as well as of the product as well as services associated with the uh, sale and delivery are also identical in this case so every aspect of the product is identical it is a basically a copy of each other each product is a copy of each other each product is a replica of each other so इसीलिए वहाँ पे जो भी products बनाए जाते हैं अगर एक जगह पे हम लोग नहीं खरीद सकते या फिर एक जगह पे हम लोग नहीं खरीदना चाहते तो दूसरी जगह पे जाके खरीदेंगे then it does not make any much difference so the demand curve uh, as indicated would be uh, like this so the demand curve would be like this wherein on the y axis we are measuring total fixed cost and here we would be measuring output and this is the fixed cost curve okay fixed cost curve uh, is like this here demand curve of an individual firm is also its average revenue and its marginal revenue so demand is equal to average revenue is equal to marginal revenue Uh, this implies uh, the assumptions of large number of seller and product uh, and product homogeneity imply that individual firm in pure competition is a price taker its uh, its demand curve is infinitely elastic demand curve of such an industry is infinitely elastic and a firm can uh, which indicates that a firm can sell any amount of units or output at prevailing market price firm can sell any amount of output at prevailing market price now the next characteristic of uh, or next feature of the perfect competition 
perfectly competitive market is the free entry and exit of firms free entry and exit of firms uh, states that there are no barriers uh, to entry or exit from industry koi bhi firm enter ho sakta hai koi bhi firm exit ho sakta hai entry or exit uh, may take time but firms have freedom to movement uh, move of movement in and out of the industry so any firm any firm if it wishes can enter the market and can exit the market if industry earns at normal profits now there are two uh, scenarios uh, first scenario is abnormal profits if an industry is earning uh, in the industry the firms are earning abnormal profits then new firms would be attracted to enter thereby the profits return to normal level on the other hand when uh, there are abnormal losses or uh, there are losses there are losses few firms exit the industry and due to it the supply will reduce so when supply reduces what happens is uh that is uh, demand remains constant demand is constant supply reduces so prices increase and which leads to profits for the remaining firms so यहाँ पे रेजिंग प्राइस विल वाइप अवे द लॉसेस विच द कंपनी इज इनकरिंग एट दैट मोमेंट सो वॉट हैपन्स इज इक्विलिबेरियम बिकम्स मच मोर सिंपलर टू अचीव इन अ परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द मार्केट फोर्सेस मार्केट फोर्सेस के हिसाब से ही सारी चीजें चल रही है इसीलिए कहीं ना कहीं पे इक्विलिबेरियम uh, अटेन करना बहुत ही ईजी हो जाता है इन केस ऑफ द firms which are working under perfect competition then the fourth uh, feature is absence absence of government regulation now government regulation is uh, not there in co- in case of perfect competition uh, the government res- uh, regulation may be in form of forms of government regulation government regulation may be in form of subsidy it can be in form of uh, tariffs it can be in form of aid 
so such an aid uh, or tariff or subsidy is not there uh, which is not going to inform influence the production or demand of a particular product as a result if these assumptions are fulfilled it is called pure competition which requires fulfillment of some more conditions agar ye char conditions hamare satisfy hote hain tab hum log pure competition ki taraf ja rahe hain so the, there are certain additional conditions as well which have to be fulfilled in order to attain the status of pure competition the first one among uh, them the fifth overall factor for perfect competition or fifth overall feature of perfect competition is that there is perfect mobility of factors of production perfect mobility of factors of production फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन परफेक्टली मोबाइल होते हैं हो तभी आप वहाँ पे ये कह सकते हो कि दैट देर इज परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन ना परफेक्ट मोबिलिटी ऑफ फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन मीन्स दैट द फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कैन मूव फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म to another firm in the economy freely वो फ्रीली एक जगह से दूसरे जगह पे मूव ऑन कर सकता है रॉ मटीरियल्स एंड अदर फैक्टर्स आर नॉट मोनोपोलाइज ओके रॉ मटीरियल एंड अदर फैक्टर्स are not monopolized not monopolized means that uh, no one firm has a control over all of these factors of production uh, then uh, the labor is not unionized labor is not unionized यूनियनाइजेशन ऑफ लेबर लेबर मीन्स के एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ट्रेड यूनियंस एंड इन सच केस ट्रेड यूनियंस नहीं एग्जिस्ट करते हैं इन परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन में ट्रेड यूनियंस नहीं होंगे कोई एक फॉर्म रॉ मटीरियल्स को कंट्रोल नहीं कर रहा होगा कोई एक फॉर्म एक ही फॉर्म डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन को भी नहीं कंट्रोल कर रहा होता है देन इन शॉर्ट देर इज परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन इन द फैक्टर मार्केट सो यहाँ पे परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन क्रिएट करने के लिए वी नीड टू हैव परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन इन द फैक्टर्स मार्केट एज वेल आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट फैक्टर विच इज next feature of perfect competition is perfect knowledge perfect knowledge as in uh, the case means that it is assumed that uh, buyers and sellers okay perfect knowledge on part of buyers and sellers buyers and sellers have complete knowledge have complete knowledge about the conditions of the market about the conditions of the market as a result what happens this knowledge is not uh, does not refer to uh, uh, just the current periods knowledge is not limited to current periods and current situations but he but it also 
includes knowledge about future conditions future conditions as well as a result information uh, of uh, uh, these uh, is uh, it would allow them to prepare in a better manner for uncertainties um, uncertainties and uh, as they have knowledge about the future so isiliye wahan pe uncertainties hone ki possibility hi nahi rehti when there is no knowledge about the future conditions or future trends which might be prevalent then there would be a possibility of uncertainty but because the um, because the business is no as to what is going to happen in future or how the market is going to react in future or how the demand is going to react in future they need not to worry about uncertainties about the future developments and um, the uh, these uh, this perfect knowledge allows them to uh, undertake uh, activities in a much more simpler and better manner the next condition or next feature is um, the seventh feature that is absence of transport cost absence of transport cost one of the major factors which lead to uh, creation or which leads to uh, the increase or changes in cost is uh, due to the transportation cost which is uh, there in order to transport the goods one from one place to another in a perfectly competitive market it is assumed that there are no transport cost okay as it is assumed that there is no transport cost here the prices would be same across all the different uh, all the different markets which are prevalent in a particular area or particular country due to this there is no difference between the prices which are available uh, uh, prices of the products available across the country so we'll continue about uh, the short run equilibrium in the next part of this uh, of uh, this uh, topic Thank you everyone